All right, well, I have not shown the ponds in about three videos, honestly, and a lot, and I mean a lot has changed. First off here with the 800 gallon pool pond, as you can see, there's no more of that ugly hair algae on the bottom. And uh, now it's just really a thin layer of algae on the sides of the pond, which you're gonna get that, that's natural, that's what you should have in your pond. So it's looking a whole lot better now. And the large mouth, he's right here, look at him. That guy's ready to be fed. We're going to feed him. I'm going to turn down the flow on that pump so we'll be able to see him a lot better. And uh, we're going to feed these guys here in a second. At least two of the fish in there. Over here at the 300 gallon pond, it's doing great. All the fish and turtles are doing great as well. It is starting to get a little bit of a green haze to it. I think that's because uh, one of the UV sterilizers, actually I think it was one on the main filter, just went out recently. Uh, so I'm going to check that out today and see if that's what it is. But yeah, look at that. There's one of the turtles. That's actually the smallest one that's in here. But... There's another one over there. And yeah, all the big comets are doing great. Small koi are doing good as well. And the two marble achara catfish are doing great as well. If we have time in this video, I'll probably try to feed this pond as well. Now here's where things got a little bit crazy. Okay, so here's the guppy pond. As you can see, it's clear. It's doing great and all that. We do have some algae on the sides and a little bit on the rocks. But other than that, it looks great. Now, a few weeks ago, uh, right when I kind of stopped showing a lot of the outdoor ponds, that's when this pond started to turn green. It was because the UV light, which is what I think is going on with the 300-gallon ponds filter, went out in this pond. So it's filter that has a UV sterilizer in it, the light went out in it. They, that happens roughly every 10 to 12 months and you just have to replace them. So the way you figure out that they have went out is if they don't have a little slot that lights up, that lets you know the light is on, when your water starts to turn green, that's when you know that it's out. And it did quickly, like really, really fast. It didn't bother the fish at all. Actually, there was babies in here. There were baby guppies in there. I just never got the, uh, the opportunity to show them on camera. So long story short, got a new UV bulb for it pulled the filter out, put it back in there, came back out here the next day, and the filter was like this right here, okay? So it was kind of laying on its side and not really um, circulating the water quite as much as it is when it's standing upright like that. And we had been in a pattern of about, I would say 90, 91, 92 degrees every single afternoon, and this pond gets the warmest out of all three of the ponds. One, because it's out in the open sunlight, and also because it's a lot smaller, so it doesn't take as long to, you know, heat the water up. But when I reached my hand in there to pick the filter back up, I noticed that the water was really, really warm, and I knew that it was just, it was too hot. Like, it wasn't like a like a hot tub type hot but you could tell it was like too warm for fish and sure enough all the fish were dead so I would say that the temperature of the water was probably in the really really high 80s if not low 90s uh, it was warm it was definitely too warm for fish and guppies like it warm but no warmer than like 82 84 at the most so I don't know what happened I really don't I don't know if it had something to do with the filter kind of falling over on its side and not circulating the water quite as much and maybe that got it to be warmer because the previous days before the guppies were fine and uh, the water was not getting no warmer than probably the low 80s so I don't know what happened but now I've let the pond kind of circulate for a good week and a half now and I've got some other guppies on the way so when they get here we'll do the whole spiel like I did last time when I got the guppies I had before, but they had babies in the pond. That was the thing I was trying to get across to you guys is we were already uh, getting a bunch of breeding going on in the pond, and then that happened, so that sucks. But the main subject of this video is this pond right here. So, not only the algae that has changed in this pond, but the fish. So the last fish I added in here was a Timensis peacock, relatively small, and when I added him in here, he was doing great. And he's still doing good, but now he's a lot more shy. He seems to kind of hang out over here, like kind of up underneath. That's where he's at right now. Um, and the last time that I showed this pond in that video, my large peacock, my butterfly peacock bass, which is the largest fish in here, was very, very shy. And I could not get him to eat on camera. And ever since I had moved all the exotic fish from that pond into here, uh, he was kind of lagging behind as far as coming back out and eating and being really active So it took him a minute, but now oh my gosh, he is probably eating Better than the largemouth probably better than any of the fish in here And that's really why I wanted to make this video because I've never really shown My peacock bass as long as I've had him really eating on camera I've never really gotten any good clips of that and I'm hoping that uh, today we can do that. So this has been the magic answer. Little bitty bluegill, about two and a half, three inches long that I go and catch out of my pond, which is uh, right down there. Yep, we have a surplus of bluegill in there. And uh, 
taking four or five out every couple of days is not going to do anything. In fact, it's going to help get the population back down. Honestly, it's not even going to do that. But yeah, we just have too many of these guys in our pond, and uh, the peacock bass and the largemouth, of course, absolutely love these things. Now, the smaller peacock is just not quite big enough to eat them yet, and neither is the tiger oscar, but they do, they do try. So I've got one of the little bit smaller ones right here. We're going to drop this bad boy in here, and just watch what happens. You would think the largemouth is going to get it, and three weeks ago, that would definitely be a, a safe bet, but now, oh, it, it, it's not a safe bet. Watch this. I'm just going to kind of get them stirred up over here. Peacock, he's uh, creeping up on us. Now watch this. Large mouth right there. The peacock's about right there. You just can't see him because of the glare. I'm going to drop. Oh, he might get him, actually. I'm just going to drop him in, and we're going to see who gets him. Got to watch, because it's going to be quick. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, he got him, but you see the peacock come in. He tried to get him. All right, so I'm going to drop another one in. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Round two. Peacock's right there. Large mouth's right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! He got him. He for sure got him. Just three weeks ago, that would not have happened. It would have been the largemouth fish without a doubt. But now he is full on challenging this largemouth, which is really, really good, actually. And so he doesn't even get right up on it like the largemouth does. You cannot even see the peacock because of the glare. But he's, he's right there, literally right there. And the largemouth is up here. And it's crazy how fast he just swoops in and grabs him. Here we go. Third one going in. Three, two, one. Oh boy, I don't know who got that one. One of the two def definitely did though. All right, this is probably about the biggest one right here. Here we go. Peacock's right there. Large mouth is not over here right now. Peacock is definitely going to get this one. Here we go. Look at him. He's creeping up. He's creeping up. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I want to see how close he'll get. Oh, come on. Come on. Holy cow. Where did the Oscar come from? He just spawn right there he just smacked him he just popped up out of nowhere all right here we go peacock three two one got him isn't that just insane all right here we go last one going in i'm going to do it from a different angle so maybe you guys can see a little bit better peacock and the oscar over there large mouth and the other peacock are up underneath there here we go i'm just gonna throw that one in and he has not seen him there's the peacock over there Nobody has seen the blue yo, and it's chilling right there. Uh oh, uh oh, oh boy, he got him. Yep, he got him. I don't know how good of a clip I got of that, but he definitely got him. He was coming back that way. He had turned back around and he saw him right there and got him. So that's it. That is all five of the bluegill. Um, I think the peacock got three or four, and the largemouth either got one or two. But that's, that's great. That is for sure the best feeding by far that I've gotten of that peacock on camera. But that's pretty much going to do it for now. Hope you guys did enjoy that little bit of a bluegill feeding. I'll do some more feedings like that, you know, later on when I have some more stuff to film outside and whatnot. But the new Florida Gar we just got, he's doing really, really good in there with the Jack Dempsey. He just recently started eating, like within the past day, I fed him some uh, frozen krill, and he is eating that, so... We're going to get him there, and eventually he is going to be a fish that will go into that 800-gallon pond once he gets a little more size on him. And there's also some more fish that I'm planning on getting for that pond as well that I'm actually planning on getting from someone if they go through with um, giving them to me because they're, they're acting like they kind of want to keep them, but they also don't. So um, just know if we do get at least one of those fish, it's going to be something really, really cool, something I've always wanted to keep and something we actually had at the fish store that I work at at one point in time. So it will be for sure for sure the showpiece of the pond if i do end up getting it but i don't know we'll see hopefully i do though anyways be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video peace